Hello everyone. It's a um, horrible day outside. I was going to go out and do so much today, but uh, I'm not going to turn around so you can see at the window, but it is absolutely emptying it down. And uh, where I want to be working is outside and uh, all I'm going to do is make a mess. So I thought I'd come and sit in the office and do a little video for you. Uh, today is um, a little bit different. It's... Uh, I think it'll interest you. I hope it will interest you. Um, one, you've had a snippet off before, and uh, I'll show you what that is in a minute. And then the other one isn't really to do with me, but it is very interesting, and it is here. So so um, let's get started on the first one, and I'll come back to you in a minute. So there we are, it's a, a 1964 Series 2A Land Rover, it's got a petrol engine, it's got a genuine, well I don't know if it's genuine, it's got very low mileage, it's got 33,000 on the clock, but I've looked at the history of the MOTs and the last two MOTs have got the same mileage on it, so I guess the speedo doesn't work. Um, it's it's a lovely, it's a really straight vehicle though. It, you, there's no dents in the panels and it's um, there's a little bit of rust on the back cross member and there's a little bit on the bulkhead but you show me a Land Rover that age that hasn't got a bit of that without having anything done to it. I bought it uh, six years ago um, we had to get it started and get it out of a shed to get it a tractor and in the end I finished up doing a deal on the tractors and the Land Rover I'd got a Range Rover, not the one, well, obviously not the one you can see now, but when I bought that one, I'd got another Range Rover, which they didn't offer me very much for, and my wife fancied one, so for a while we were a two Range Rover family. I kept it. They they offered me, I think it was 6000 for it, and they knocked 2000 off the price of the, not new, but the second, the one I've got now, if I didn't trade in. So... It stood me at um, 4,000 quid then, and we used it for a couple of years, three years, I suppose, and then um, Janet decided that really Lana was weren't so luxurious as she thought, especially when she went to a supermarket and tried to park it and couldn't get out the doors. So she swapped it for a little, or um, well, didn't swap it, She we bought a little Peugeot, Peugeot Estate, which she's very happy with. And the Land Rover was left, but the Land Rover got huge mileage on it. Two hundred, I think it was two hundred and forty thousand. I'd run it to, and uh, it really wasn't very saleable. And I didn't know what price to put on it. So when this Land Rover came up, and there was a power major tractor and uh, a Nuffield tractor, and we did a deal where we it was a straight swap. Um, now you look at the Land Rover, and. The Power Major you haven't seen, the Nuffield you have seen, um, I think I had a good deal. But anyway, the, the Land Rover has, has been sat in a container ever since, and uh, I, I've got to be honest, I'm frightened to use it because it's so genuine. It's um, I've, I haven't even washed it since we brought it back. I don't know how to wash it. Certainly didn't want to put oily rag on it. We've got a few oily handprints on it, but... Um, it's just so clean and tidy and it's got a little bit of weathering on it i think i've got to leave it like that for now but but that's really why i put the video up i want i want some advice i i, I like to hear it i did ask on um, one of the land rover sites on facebook and oh boy 
They're a different breed of tractor people, I tell you. They're just... No, not all of them. That's not fair, because I know a lot of Land Rover people, but there were some that are so bloody obnoxious, and I, I took the post off because it, they were just such smart asses. You know, I, I went on there and said, you know, what would you do with this? What... I don't know what it's worth. What do you think? And... Uh, you know, how much do you want for it? How much do you want for it? And I said, well, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Well, why well, you put it on there if you don't want to sell it? And, and I said, oh, for Christ's sake. And, and one chap got really ghastly about it because I wouldn't, I didn't, I didn't know a price. I don't want to sell it. You know, it's not my intention to let somebody have it for a bargain. I've bought it as an investment. And I think the six years I've kept it, it's probably doubled in value because they are fetching, well, not, not silly money to those that buy them, but to me, stood as a tractor enthusiast, I think, well, I, where do you get it from? So, um, you know, we, we, I've had, I've had Land Rovers around here for, for donkey's years. We used to run three long wheelbase ones, and there was always one broken down. You know, it was, it was well, we, we always, we've given them hard luck. We did, we were fencing contracting then, and, uh, and we were towing trailers, and, and then it was, we were building sheds, so we were, really making them do what they're supposed to do but it was just one thing after another and uh, I wasn't sorry to see them go and that when the last one went was really it wasn't long before I, I had a discovery for myself and I've had discoveries and range rivers ever since and I can't believe they're made by the same company because the Land Rover to me has always been a heap of shit but um, you know, uncomfortable to drive, just not, the driver's not thought about it. Yes, it'll go places, but so will my Range Rover. And yeah, it's a lot more money, but I'd rather have a, a good second-hand Range Rover than a brand new Land Rover any day. So you can keep your Defenders. I think the new one's all right, mind. I had a look at that, and that's good. But long way at my price range, so you needn't bother watching this space for that. Anyway, show you a few more pictures of the... Um, Land Rover and um, then we'll show it go in and see what you think and uh, you know I'd value your opinion. Yeah, try it. Beautiful. That's not bad, it must be at least six years since I've just got a pole wrong with that, yeah.
That's a proper old radio. Now we've got one. Switch on. Okay. And that lovely that sweep is enough, huh? Switch it on, you might get Terry working. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully not. Nothing wrong with Terry. On one of his old geezers now. Oh, you rascal. Look at that, you even got coat on. Any old coat on. So there she is, um, it, it really does run nicely and uh, yeah it, it's going to want a bit of fettling because it's it, it hasn't run, it's been stood in a container here for six years and it's been, where we fetched it from it was like a low lean to shed and it had been in there for a number of years so uh, oh that's be interesting, um, yeah so it, it, it's um, I'm not saying it's perfect. If you really wanted to pick fault with it, I think it started life with a soft top on it and a tailboard. If you if you look at it, the back door is slightly different colour to the rest of it. the The history of it is it belonged to an estate, and it was a gamekeeper's um, run around. And then the gamekeeper retired, and the new guy, I guess he wasn't interested in it, and whether he had. A, quad bike or something then and um, this thing was stuck in a shed and it stopped there for well ever since the last tax disc I think it was 2007 perhaps anyway it um, it it didn't get didn't get used all that time so it's been stood for a long time really and um, but it's it I, I don't know what to do it's got original seats got the original Smith's heater um, everything about it is just as you'd want it to be I don't think if I was keeping it I don't think I'd take that top off because I quite like that part of the history it's got that light on the top which you know it's a floodlight that's the only light on it that doesn't work everything else you switch it on and it comes on um, and I guess it just wants connecting up and you know away that would go <laughs> we did try the radio that's not connected up now but you know it's um, it is what it is. That's that's how it finished work, and and I don't know. I don't know what you'd do with it. When I bought it, the chap said, "Oh, you you take that back and spray it up, and you know it'll look like new." And I thought, "Yeah," and, and you've lost everything about it. So I, I, it doesn't really interest me. And I, if I get offered enough money for it, I will sell it. It's time it went. I think the, the Land Rovers. I cannot see them going up anymore. They're ridiculous. So we'll see. I've had all sorts of, you know, oh, that's worth 20,000, Dave. Well, <laughs> you bring it on. <laughs> you can take it right down the road if you bring me that sort of money. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll even put it on a trailer and take it to where you want to go because you're bound to break down on the way there. Anyway, um, that's where we are with that one. So give you one final look. We put it back in the container now. And, um, yeah, I would say it's that. I'd say it's that brake shit itself. Yeah. Of course, that lamp must be close, wasn't it? Or no? Hey. Is that lamp close? Okay, so if you've got this far, um, 
I've got one more vehicle to show you. Uh, it isn't mine. It is. It is four wheel drive. Um, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to tell you anymore without giving it away. But uh, we'll we'll talk about it when you've seen it. It's um, belongs to Tom Machen, who's uh, got the. He's in the welding shop here now. He, he rents the welding shop and. Just thought Tom was the one that had the steam engine. If you remember the steam engine a bit back, well, he's actually sold that now. He think he, he's dead keen to get another one, but I said, you know, just get real, boy. <laughs> get something you can just go and turn the key and away it goes. Bloody stoking it up and all the nonsense that goes with it. I just can't. I love them, but I don't want to be working with them. Anyway, that's a miserable day for you. All right, so have a look at this. See what you think. Okay, we've got a new beast in the camp. Here's your first clue. Is it a tractor? What is it? What about that? It's, um, it's not mine, but it's living there for a bit. I think it's, I think it's an Austin K6. It came in with it, it's got a wooden deck and wooden seat and no cab on it. And uh, that was yesterday. Today they've got the cab on, bonnet on, radiator, front wing clearly on a mission. Not quite sure how far Tom intends to go with it, but it's, uh, it's something different. And I've got to say, I am strangely attracted to it. I think... Uh, if you, I don't know what weight it is, but if they have a, a, a flatbed put on it and a beaver tail on the back, which I think it'd probably take, you'd get two vintage tractors on it. But what a thing to turn up at a show with. Anyway, watch this space. There, so what do you think of that then? It's, um, I, I, I love it really. I, I was very silly a few years ago and I, I was offered I had the chance to buy, um, it was a county version of a Ford Thames 4D and uh, it was a six wheeler, same as that, but it, it had the county conversion on it, which had been great. And it, it was a bit gutless because it was a 4D engine and um, you know, it wasn't going to go away. If it had a 6D, it would been a different tool, but, but the 4D, if you put a couple of tractors on that, it was long enough for two tractors, got a beaver tail and everything. and I could have bought it for 4,000 quid. <laughs> I've kicked myself for so many times since because that really would have been a dream. You know, I could have written up, put Dave's tractors on the side and, you know, if I, if I could have gone to a rally with a lorry and two tractors, it might have made it worthwhile, you know, but um, maybe not. But it would be, be good on a road run. I think, you know, you've been sat in the dry and you could go slow enough with it because... You didn't have to speed, but um, anyway, and I, th I think this will be the same. Whether you would keep that Austin six-cylinder engine in, I don't know. I got a feeling it's the same engine that they put in the Massey Harris combines. But you know, so in theory, you could you could run it on power of it. It wouldn't be legal, but um, I don't know what how economical it would be. But it's, it's one of these things, you know. If you're doing it for a hobby, what does it matter? So, uh, so that's the the truck. Tom's gonna film it, the progress of what he does to it, um, and we'll, so we'll see how it turns out. He he doesn't intend keeping it. He's still adamant he wants this steam engine, so it'll be up for sale. But um, I don't think it'll be there for four grand. That's for certain. So we'll see. So uh, that's me done, really. But because. This is Dave's Tractors. I have got another guest here this week and um, I've done a little film of that. This is a newer classic. 
and it's not one that I've got in my collection, but I love it. It belongs to my mate Paul that was at the tractor show with me, and it were, it's actually belongs to his son. So it's uh, it's Matthew Bennett's tractor, and we've got it because there's a little fault with the pickup hitch, and we're doing some work on that. So um, I'll just give you a little, just listen to the sound. It's the sound I love. This is a 956 XL, I think it's 1982 or 83, the year of it, so it's 40 years old, it's a cracking tractor. X-Reg, what's that? I think it's 82. Anyway, uh, there she is, we've got it because that hitch is wrong and we're going to Sort the pickup hitch out. It's been it's been broken and welded and it's it's not correct. So we're gonna take it off and, and build a a new cut the hook off and build a new bar eight straight for it. So that's one of the missions for later on. So there she is. I quite fancy that. That's that's a, a, a vintage tractor now really, but uh, what a tool. So there you are, that's uh, today's little video sorted out. I hope that uh, International gave you the tractor rush you need after you watch my videos. <laughs> it's a, it is a nice tractor though, and um, you know, I hope you find it interesting. I know it's not all about tractors today, but it's, it's something different. You know, you mustn't get stuck in a rut, must you? <laughs> uh, that wasn't a pun. Right, it's, um, Looking at the window here, it looks like it's stopped raining, so that's a lovely time to finish, isn't it? So I'll download this now and um, hopefully enjoy it, and I'll see you shortly. Cheers, bye.